All right, Tyler Costin here with PGC Basketball. I'm gonna give you the goods right now, the secret to being a college basketball player. Ogumbawale for the win! So first off, I want you to know I believe in you. There is a place for everyone that's willing to pay the price to play somewhere in college. The thing is, there aren't that many players that are willing to pay the price. The great Rudyard Kipling said, if you don't get what you wanted out of life, either you didn't actually want it or you tried to bargain over the price. The very cool thing is, most players out there that say they want to play in college try to bargain over the price of admission to be a college basketball player. I'm gonna, it's really very simple. I'm just gonna give you the formula right now to be a college basketball player. You have to decide if you're willing to pay the price or not. Here it is, five hours a day, consistently, every single day, five hours a day. If you train in this way, you give yourself a great opportunity to be a college basketball player. Welcome to Wale, a clutch three. Now understand, that's one third of it, five hours a day. That's the training, that's the part you can control. But there's two other parts that you have no control over that will greatly impact the level at which you can play college basketball. The first one is just your genetics. You can't control how tall you're gonna be, your natural athleticism. Some people have won the genetic lottery and with no training at all, they're still gonna be college basketball players. Some people have lost the genetic lottery, and so they must do everything possible to even have a chance to play college basketball. That's one third of the whole factor. The middle piece here is honestly just chance. It's the X factor. Are you playing at the right time, in the right gym, in the right situation, when the right coach is watching, and they actually have a scholarship in need of the position that you play? It's random, it's chance. And you gotta understand, life's not fair. Expecting to be treated fairly is the mindset of the mediocre. So you can't rely on fair treatment and getting your fair shake. You can't control the X factor. You can't control your genetics. You can only control your training. And that's where you decide, am I willing to pay the price of five hours a day? Here's the formula, it's pretty simple. You wake up early and do a one hour shooting workout before breakfast. That's it, hour shooting workout. You can easily get up 500 shots in an hour. We're talking summertime right now for your five hours. You eat breakfast, you recover, and then you go and get a one hour workout in where you transform your body. This is your weights, this is your speed, your explosion, your agility, your recovery, everything. You get an intense one hour workout in. You're at two hours. You go, you have lunch, you rest, recover. Two hours, whether it be in the afternoon, whether it be in the late afternoon, you find the best run with players that are better than you, local college players, ex-college players, older players at the rec league that have gotten to the level you want to get to where you're fighting to get on the court. For two hours straight, you go and steal like an artist. You steal their moves, you steal their cleverness, you steal their physicality, you steal their communication. For two hours, you need to play intentional pickup. Not where you're taking 18,000 dribbles, but where you're getting better. You're guarding the best player on the floor, you're the best communicator on the floor. You're learning to play the game from those that are better than you, two hours. So now you're at four hours total. You go home, you have dinner, you get whatever work you need to get done, and then you get one more hour after dinner in the evening with a skill-specific workout. Based on your needs, you might need another shooting workout. This might be a footwork workout. This might be ball handling. This might be finishing. This might be specific to a technique or move you're attempting to master. That's your fifth hour. I have never worked with a player that has failed to do the five hours a day and failed to play in college. If they do five hours a day consistently over a long period of time, they play in college if they want to. It's just that simple. The question is, are you willing to pay the price? If you like this and you want more stuff like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please hit like, hit us up in the comments below, and you can always check us out at pgcbasketball.com. I'm Tyler Costin, let's get in the gym and get better.